Hello everyone, on this video I want to show you guys how to make this scroll trigger animation. This is the animation, child containers animating one after another and they are pinned. So after the last animation ends, we can keep scrolling the page. This is the animation. We will make this from zero. But before that, I should introduce to the plugin. This is the plugin, it is free. You can download it with zero dollar. But if you are going to use it on a client project on anything, anything, I mean, I, I paid it a couple bucks uh, because I might use on a client project soon. That's why I paid it. But if you guys are going to just have fun, play, play it with it. So you don't have to pay it. OK. And let's start with the demo. Actually, I'm going to do it from zero. I don't, I, I'm not going to waste time on this. Let's create a new page and just copy the empty this example container and i don't need anything else that's it so let's close that let's paste it boom it is just normal container nothing else special about it i think this container has heights i'm gonna change that let's duplicate a couple of them and let's make the middle one after the couple like I, I want some items in the page let's make the height of the container let's make it like that so we don't need to yeah let's just open this one yeah correct good let's give it height to that and let's make the containers 100 height so they have more height i mean it, it, it can be 100 viewport height i think but that is too much for now i'm gonna keep it simple okay yo let's make it like that nice 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent okay this is my animation containers and i will make the animation on the container I mean, it is possible to make it multiple animations like separated from each other on each block, but we don't need to do that. Let's select the container, activate the connect, and after that, from two, there is one option. And from two means one state, the second state, like first state, the last state, from zero to one. What that means is animatable properties, okay? So those states can be opacity, like it can be from 0 to 1, or position, or scale, or rotation, background, color, and color. These are the options, okay? For now, I will make it opacity from 0 to 1. So invisible to visible, okay? And I'm not going to touch anything else yet. Let's, let's learn a little, little bit, because this is uh, a bit confusing. I know from experience, like I coded GSAP JavaScript before, that's why I know what is what. But if you are seeing this like first time, what the hell is this like from to like, what is this marker scrubbing? What is this? Yeah, it can be a little bit confusing. I know. That's why I'm going to keep it simple first. Let's check the preview. Let's go down. Boom. See? All container uh, from starting opacity zero and becoming one. And this is how it works. Let, let me show you the DOM. I think this is much clear. See? That's here. Look at that. It starts from zero and animates it slowly to one. Clear. So after that, but what we want is pinned animation and we want to separate it. As you can see, all of the container itself becoming hidden, zero, and animating all together. But we want to split it, okay? For that, we need to enable this child, animate child. That means animating the blocks, okay? That means animating the blocks separately. And for that, we need to apply. The, let's, let's check this first. Refresh. I think we need to give a little bit 
stagger. Stagger means multiple animations that don't all start at the same time. And this will work with the text effect animations. So stagger exactly means like staggering the animation. Let's make it one S. One second. Let's see. Perfect. See, it is much more clear right now uh, what it is doing. So we made we made it stagger. Uh, let's make that actually keep it same. Uh, that's fine because this will become a relative second to positioning. Right now it is animating perfectly. Great. Let me go that. It takes one second for each animation, each block. Okay. Now we want to make this pinned. Okay. So I want to make it scroll like scrubbing. Yeah. Because as you can see, it is not really scrubbing. It is it is just animating when I see this container, yeah? When I touch this container. That's what it is doing. And we can do this with bricks already, yeah? We don't we, uh, we want more. We want more. So for that, we just need to enable scrub. And the the moment we do that, this, this scroll bar will be connected to the animation. See? When I move it, the animation will happen. I think it is be, it is a little bit slow. The reason might be this. This is too high. Let's check that. Yeah, I told you guys that it is <laughs> a little bit different. Good. It is scrubbing perfectly. I like it. We will we will fix the ch uh, positioning. That's fine. Let's enable the markers so we can see when it is starting, when, when it is ending. See, it is starting here. And oh, it is ending so late. Probably other marker is up there or something. Yeah, like uh, uh, behind the admin bar. Yeah. So what we want is let's make the starting position center of the viewport and let's make let's see what will happen first. Yeah, starting position and ending position here, maybe. Yeah, or a little bit here. Let's make it bottom first. Let's see. Oh, it is still late. No, 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 no. Other way around. Let's start here. Let's make you center. Okay, good. Because as soon as it start, uh, uh, hits here, I want it to start. Perfect. So when it comes on the center of the almost center of the viewport, the animation ends. Great. Let's make this ending offset. I want to offset 100 pixel. Let's see. 100%. No, minus 100. So I want it to end it a little bit like earlier. Okay. Let's make it 200 pixel so it will come down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So starts. Good. So this end mode, see? Let's make it 100 to see the change again. See? So it is it is coming down. But I want it to go I I, I want it to go closer. So 200 is okay actually. I like it. Let's see. Yeah, the animation I want the animation to end when the container in the middle of the page. So not the top of the page perfect now this is how you make the scroll trigger animation but of course this is not pinned we want to pin this so let's say you have like big slides big animations like big uh, gallery something one image coming one after another you can stack them top of them uh, you can make all of them like absolute inside the container top of each other 
and show them one by one. This is exactly the same thing. Okay. So let's make it pinned. So the moment we make this, I think I need to activate spacing too. Let's check first. Yeah, I need to activate spacing. Otherwise, it's going to <laughs> move like that. Enable the spacing. So it will add automatically uh, spacing. Good. Now it is pinned until the animation ends. It will stay in the middle like that. Perfect. I think now we need to make it. Yeah. That's why I, I was thinking about like making the height. <laughs> Viewport height. Let's make it like that. Nice. Now this will look much, much better. Oh, it starts so late. No. It is starting really late. Let's make the start position. Let's make the start position. Center, top, center. Let's make it center. See, see it first. This fine tuning takes time, guys. It, it's fine. Like, let's make it top, 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 top. Yeah. And it is fine to spend time like that. You need to perfect your animation and it, it takes time. Okay, this works nice. Start will be bottom of the viewport and the ending will be top of the viewport. So we can see the markers. Start now. Animating, 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 animating. And the animation start finished. Nice. Let's make it more movement so it will be more visible. I want to add another property. Let's give it Y position. It will start from the 200 pixel down. So this will be come from bottom to top, like come from below. Okay, let's refresh. Nice, good, 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 good. Okay, now I want to increase the stagger. See, now, now because we have pinned the stagger, it is so close. Yeah, I want to make this higher. So I don't think I have to write second anymore. So it has more spacing between the animations. Nice, perfect. Look at that. Amazing. And this is our easy animation plugin nice i think this is the only thing missing in the bricks and i think that's why this will be very useful to people because i mean we can almost do everything with uh, interactions almost everything except the scroll trigger yeah except the scroll trigger other than that we can do anything else with bricks but when, when we need like scroll trigger, I think this plugin is perfect. And it is, it is so light because only adds G, GSAP library, nothing else. Okay, that's it. I mean, did you guys, did you guys like it? Uh, if you guys want me to make more tutorials with this plugin, I can make it. Um, please write comment. Because I know a little bit confusing. I mean, it makes sense when you start to play with it slowly little bit little by little so <laughs> but after <laughs> if you are first time seeing the settings i'm pretty sure it might be a little bit confusing i know but i hope you guys learned something with this video see you guys on the next bye